if you say your weight as 75 kg in navigation class perfectly fine correct when i am teaching payload i would have thought your mass and weight take off weight take off mass doesn't make a difference to you you can use it use them interchangeably i have thought correct but actually speaking mass differs from weight you can never say your weight is 75 kg in technical general classes correct your mass is 75 kg so what is mass mass is the amount of matter that is present on your body correct so the mass is the amount of matter in a body it is measured in grams or it is measured in kilograms is this clear what is mass for example if i take this toy correct let's assume no, no not take this toy here let me take this laptop okay i'm not showing now i need something which has more weight let's say the mass of this laptop is 2 kg okay 2 kg now what happens when i hold the laptop like this in my hand what is the laptop doing to my hand pushing down the laptop is pushing down or is it is exerting a force on my hand to which my brain is calculating the exact amount of force and it is pushing upwards so that the laptop is staying there in space yes or no correct yes if my brain applies for example if i have a stroke correct my hand is not working or it does not have full power what happens laptop will exert more force than my hand and it will fall down correct or if my brain miscalculates for example uh, sometimes you try to pick up something which you think will be very heavy and you apply more force but if it is very light what happens your hand will do this correct this this force which laptop is exerting on my hand is the weight of this laptop correct so what is weight force weight is a force correct now why is the laptop exerting force on my hand due to gravity due to gravity gravity is pulling it down correct for example if you take a ball and drop it down on the floor correct with what acceleration does it come down so that depends on its uh, weight or mass okay you take a small stone of 1 kg you take a large stone of 10 kg now if you drop both from a tall building from a certain height which will reach the ground first both will reach at the same time point. very good both will reach the same time both will reach at the same time correct so that means both are accelerating with the same acceleration correct so that acceleration is because of gravity gravity makes any body to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second square this is called as acceleration due to gravity tell me <clears throat> have you seen bird feather Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Now, I said, see, one kg 
or 10 kgs, it doesn't matter. It will come at the same time. Correct. Now, will the bird feather will experience same amount of acceleration due to gravity or not? Yes or no? Yes. How many of you think answer is yes? Sarah, Shadab, Sanesha. How many of you think answer is no? The answer is yes. See, if you take a feather, correct. Gravity even attracts the feather also. It will try to come down at a speed of, or it will try to accelerate it in an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second, second square, correct. But what happens, the air moving randomly will hit the weather, sorry, the feather, and it will it will be disturbed by the airflow. Now, if you take a big room, this is a big room, and you put a machine to suck out all the air. Correct? So, this is vacuum. Now, you take a stone, you take a feather, drop it together, they both will reach at the same time. You understand? So, everybody on earth will have same acceleration due to gravity. Correct? That is 9.8 meters per second square. Correct? So, weight is nothing but force. Now, Let's say in my hand, instead of the laptop, I have kept a remote. Correct. Is my hand very painful now? But instead of this, again, I have took this 2 kg laptop. After some time, will my hand not pain? Because yes. of the weight? Yes. See, that means the force acting on my hand is proportional to the mass. Yes or no? Yes. Correct. Force or weight is proportional to the mass. More the quantity of matter, more the weight it will act on my head. Clear? Next thing. <laughs> Let's assume I went to moon. Correct. Acceleration due to gravity is 1 by 6. So, 9 by 6 would be somewhere around uh, 1.2 meters per second square. Correct. Thanks. So, <clears throat> can I say, can I say, the weight of the laptop is less when I am standing on moon and holding it. It will be light because acceleration due to gravity is less. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Correct. So, on earth, it is 9.8 meters per second square. Correct. The acceleration due to gravity. On moon, it is one sixth of it. So the weight will weight of this laptop will change from earth to moon because the force with which it will push my hand down varies. But will the mass change? No, so it will no, remain sir. same. It will remain same. So moon or earth, mass will be constant. The quantity of matter in a body will be constant, but the weight will change. Correct. Now weight. It's a force. It's a force due to gravity. Correct. That force or weight is proportional to mass. If mass increases, weight increases. Correct. In moon, the acceleration due to gravity is less, so weight is less. Can I write? This weight is also proportional to acceleration due to gravity. Yes, sir. Combining these two equations, can I say force due to gravity or weight is equals to MA. What is M? Mass. Mass. Mass of the body. See, what is A? Acceleration due, to gravity. due to gravity. Instead of A, I'll write G to represent gravity. Right. right. F is equals to MA will work anywhere, but we are taking here 
this thing. So G is acceleration due to gravity. So M is mass of the object. G is acceleration due to gravity, which has a constant value of eight point sorry nine point eight meter per second square. This is not S two second square. Correct. Now, if there is a mass of one kg, it will exert a. It has a weight of how much? If it will exert a force of, or it has a weight of. Mass into acceleration, correct? One kg into acceleration is nine point eight meter per second square, correct? So it will have nine point eight. Now see, weight I have called it as force, correct? Correct. So force. What are the units of force? Lower class. Newton. 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 Newtons. Nine point eight newtons. So. One newton is also called as kg meter per second square. Correct. So you're multiplying kgs by meter into second square. So one newton is also called as kg meter per second square. So these are the units of weight. You you can call it newtons or you can call it kg meter per second square. How many of you understood? Okay. Do you 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 might have a question, sir? Is this important for exams? Will they ask so much? What is a newton? No, the thing is, these are the building blocks of your knowledge. When I teach you in the next few chapters, am I clear on this? Yes, sir. Shall I move forward? Two definitions are clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Next. So, for example. Don't look at this slide. Look at. It. Imagine I'm in space, and I have this calculator in my hand. Where am I? On Earth? No. Yes. I'm in space, outer space. Okay. I'm like an astronomer, roaming in space. If I throw this calculator away from me, how will the calculator travel? Will it travel keep on like this, or it will it travel keep like this? It will rotate, sir. Rotate. Slowly. It will rotate. It will rotate. Correct. But now there is no gravity because I'm in space. Ultimately, will the calculator, even though rotating, will travel in a straight line, or will it travel zigzag? Maybe zigzag. Will no, travel like this. Straight line only. Straight line. Right line. Will travel like this, Manchi. Dancing, dancing. No air. I'm throwing in this direction. Now it will go in one direction. <coughs> Understood? Even though it is rotating, the whole calculator will be moving in a straight line. You understand? Now, in this calculator, see, it is moving in a straight line in total, but it is. Also rotating around itself. You understand? Okay. Now, if you take one point in the calculator, okay, that point is not rotating around anything. That point will always be there in a straight line, on a straight line. You understand? So that point where it will, even though the calculator is a big thing, but all the mass, if you con condense to one point. That should go in a straight line, correct? So that point where the mass is imagined to be concentrated is called as center of gravity, correct? For example, if you take this pencil, correct? So if I hold this pencil like this, what happens? Hello. Can I hold this pencil like this, pivoting here? No. No. No, sir. But center. Yeah. This is not center. Uh, this is heavy towards the back side. Yeah, hold oh, here. See. So now, <clears throat> the pencil was like this. Correct. 
because it was heavy here if i held it in the midpoint what happens this topples down yeah correct so i hold it here at this point so this side is same weight and this side is same weight even though this is long correct so i can hold the pencil just by supporting here this point of the pencil is called center of gravity am i clear the way if you just support this thing it will not fall down clear on this clear okay so center of gravity is a point through which weight of the aircraft acts okay now <clears throat> if you throw a calculator like this here it will keep on rotating around itself but actually it is rotating around its center of gravity clear fine if you take an aircraft like this correct aircraft is moving forward aircraft is moving forward now the aircraft sometimes will pitch up sometimes will pitch down yes or no correct but this pitch up pitch down bank left bank right all these movements happen around a single point called center of gravity of the aircraft am i clear am i clear so this point on the aircraft this is called as cg center of gravity guys remind me whoever are attending tech gen classes with me correct they have to attend performance also i teach performance in navigation but the students for who are attending tech gen classes will be given access to these performance classes also because we are trying to understand the real working of an aircraft correct performance is one thing which you have to know where i'll be talking about center of gravity one whole day correct just a second anybody goes to gym again sanisha i forgot your answer okay see <clears throat> if you go to gym you lift different kinds of weights correct now probably i am able to lift this laptop like this but some of you who develop a lot of strength can lift this whole table like this not impossible correct if you work hard for like 10 years building your body someone will lift the table like this yes or no correct that means he can exert a lot of force correct so that is force force so you understood now let's assume <coughs> we are two people i am vamshi anybody wants to volunteer nikhil vamshi and nikhil are daily wage workers okay we fill our stomachs by doing physical work okay now <clears throat> this is vamshi the pencil is nickel okay there are 100 bricks 
for me 100 bricks for nikhil also 100 bricks okay this bricks to be taken by both of us and they have to be placed somewhere else okay so let's assume today i took these 100 bricks and i kept at a distance of let's say 1 kilometer okay now <clears throat> they said you are only 1 kilometer so we will pay you 1000 rupees correct now nikhil took the same bricks he reached the destination which is at 2 kilometers distance so he gets paid the full amount 2000 rupees correct now who has done much work who did more work pamshi or nikhil Nikhil. Nikhil. Yes. Vamshi placed only at 1 kilometer. Nikhil placed at 2 kilometers. Nikhil did more work, so he got paid more. Both of us, Nikhil and Vamshi, were exerting the same amount of force, that is carrying a brick. But the distance varied. Correct? Vamshi could take only to 1 kilometer, but Nikhil took it to 2 kilometers. Correct? That means when you exert a certain amount of force and you compare it or you calculate or you move a certain body for certain distance that is called as work correct so that's why you say nickel did more work he carried more distance so work is nothing but work is nothing but it's a force correct into distance. How many of you understood? Correct. Work is force into distance. <clears throat> a force is said to do a work on a body. Correct. When it moves, the body in the direction of force acting. Shall I ask you a tricky question? Okay. This is a wall. This is Manshi. Manshi took a ball and hit the wall. So what happens to the wall? Did, will wall break, Manshi? Yeah. Okay. The ball will hit the wall and it will come back to Manshi. Yes. Okay. Now, what is the work done by the ball on the wall? Zero. Very good. Work done by the ball on the wall is how much zero zero why see when you hit the wall with the wall the wall is not moving at all but what happened wall is exerting a force on the ball so that the ball is coming backwards correct now ball is moving correct that means who is doing the work work is done by the wall on the ball Clear? Correct? In this case, work is done by the wall. On the wall. Am I clear on this? Okay. Fine. If force is acting, okay, fine. Uh, the amount of work done on a body is the product of the force applied to the body and the distance moved by the force in the direction in which the force is acting. Correct? The force is uh, the force is acting, the force is exerted and no movement takes place. Okay. If the force is acting, see, ball is initially exerting the force on the wall. Force is acting, but wall did not move. Correct? 
if force is acting comma so if force is exerted and no movement takes place no work has been done am i clear shall i move on so work is force into distance now see work is measured in joules what is the unit of force newton 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 distance is a unit meters correct so joules are also called as newton meters shall i move on yes acha <clears throat> let's take another example again two people are there vamshi and nikhil both were given a weight let's say weight of 15 kg correct and were asked to carry through a distance of let's say 1 km correct so both started in their hands with 15 kg and started running i am i have started running nikhil also started running let's say i reached 1 km distance vamshi reached 1 km distance in 30 minutes nikhil reached 1 km distance in 15 minutes tell me who has more power nikhil nikhil correct now tell me what is power see we both did the same work or not we took 15 kg of weight and moved 1000 meters or 1 kg 1 uh, km so we both did 15 0 0 joules of work work done is same by both of us but nikhil did it in half of the time than i did correct the ability to do ability to do work uh, ability um, to do work see i i am also capable wait by time by time so put it in a sentence here bring the definition the rate of doing work yes. is called power correct the rate of doing work is called power am i super clear on this yes sir correct so power is nothing but work by time correct see uh we both did 1500 sorry 15000 joules of work now we took how much time i took 30 minutes 30 into 60 seconds correct this is vamshi nikhil did same work 15000 joules of work in 15 minutes so i want to convert into seconds into 60 seconds calculate here what is the power of vamshi and what is the power of nikhil do this 0 0 zero, 0 0 3 5 0 350 sorry 8 8.34 vamshi 8.3 8.3 is the work done by sorry power of vamshi correct now nikhil Sixteen point six six. Nikhil has sixteen point six. Correct. So whose power is more? When you compare, Nikhil's power is more. 
correct now this is also called watts power is measured in watts watts correct so in other words can i say work is newton meters divided by seconds you get watts okay so my power is 8.3 watts nikhil power is 16.6 watts am i clear on this yes sir you say the power of your electricity correct same thing applies in electricity also i'll be teaching the same things comparing here we are moving bricks me and nikhil we are carrying weight there we move electrons from one point to other so when i teach you electricity in detail i'll be teaching you power there same thing that's why I teach basics first correct you have to understand what it is what is the power uh, what is the units of power watts what correct so same thing what is the uh, range of ndp manshi sir 95 per hmm 95% during the uh, that is accuracy of ndp range of sir. ndp in nautical miles sir overland okay to under root power in power water in watts and over sea 3 under root in, in here watts means power. those watts are measured in terms of electricity but there i'll co correlate between the moment of weight was taken here there i'll coordinate between the moment of electrons and the power applied clear shall i move on shall i move on? this is just the basics anybody has any doubt till now everything is super clear next work is done power is done okay power is simply the rate of doing work the time taken to do work this is called as power correct next <clears throat> see you know i am not doing very well since few days correct fever and all okay so what i do morning generally i have breakfast um let's say my favorite breakfast is upma nobody on earth likes upma but i do okay let's say generally i eat 300 grams of upma but because i have fever because i have fever nowadays i am eating only 100 grams of upma correct so after eating my breakfast i go for a run generally okay i run let's say normally i run 1 km without stopping now instead of this if i start daily taking only 100 grams can i daily run 1 km now no what happens here after going to 800 meters or something like that 500 meters my body will say here i don't have energy correct you did not have your food yes or no correct so that means whatever food i am taking that is converted to energy and energy is something with which i am able to perform a work i am carrying my whole body of 70 75 kg for a distance of 1 km by walking my legs are carrying my body see this uh, there is displacement of a weight of a mass correct mass into distance so i am doing work so can i say here if you have energy then only you can do work yes or no so yes. energy is nothing but work if you have energy you will do work if you don't have energy you don't have work so what is the unit of work Joules. 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 Same way, unit of energy is also joules. Why? Energy is nothing but work. If you have energy, you will do work. If not, you don't. Clear? Till now, it is clear. Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, now it is very important. Okay. So people who have uh, attended the morning class might feel it's a repetition, the navigation, but no problem if you like. listen to it two or three times okay now how many types of energies are there 
kinetic energy kinetic energy potential energy potential energy any different types of energy heat energy correct electric energy chemical energy wind radiation energy. energy huh wind wind energy wind energy okay okay solar energy okay. solar power solar energy See, there are n number of forms of energy correct but we are talking about flying we are talking about air air has two types of energies one is static next is dynamic correct now <clears throat> static can be considered as potential energy correct dynamic can be considered as kinetic energy. from your lower classes can someone define what is potential energy so the formula is mgh oh very good nahi nahi jamta what is jamta in hindi what is jamta yaar no the main potential energy ha oh, yeah and, uh, there is no movement there is no? there is no movement no so, movement of the body that it's potential energy and then body is acting with some force or moving somewhere that time which energy is created is kinetic energy correct see total energy of any body is constant correct <clears throat> let's assume If I have a building. On the building, there is a tank. Correct. Now there is a small lake near the building. Correct. Now on every floor in the building, there are washrooms, there are pipes. Correct. So what people used to do? People used to come down, take water from the lake, and go and do their bathing, etc., in their houses. but now what you did you put a motor you put a motor now <coughs> you put a pipe like this and you put a pipe like this you supply power how do you supply power by connecting the motor to electricity this power will do some work correct what it did it sucked out the water from the lake and it filled the tank correct that means see the lake had water which had no extra energy it was just lying on the floor correct now but what you did you took this and gave some power you worked upon it correct can you destroy energy so can someone destroy energy no transferring yeah now this water will have energy which you have utilized by using your electric current yes or no okay for example you see if you don't like someone let's say dr vamshi is standing here okay you don't like his classes what you do suddenly open the tank break this up all the pane will fall on vamshi vamshi will be like on the floor yes or no that means the tank will do some work or not water will do some work or not that is exerting or slapping me on my head yes so now when the tank when the water is in the tank it has energy called as potential energy you understand correct or the static energy static means it is not moving it is just there but it has some energy it can do something correct now if it starts coming down correct it keeps on utilizing its potential energy correct and it it it, it converts into something called as kinetic energy 
once it comes down that energy is utilized and then it will again have same energy as this lake yes or no now you understand what is potential energy oh. the force with which it comes down the kinetic energy will act on my head and make me cry yes or no tank full of water falls on me it will be very painful na correct it's yes, not sir. very easy so that is kinetic energy acting on dr vamshi am i clear on this yes so you you suck the power from an electric wire that has done the work through motor so when a work is done you use the force to displace this water to the tank so force into displacement water is displaced so work is done whenever work is done work is also called as energy yes so water is showed here correct in the form of energy what energy does it have it has potential potential energy correct now when it starts moving will it have any potential energy left potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy and that is acting on dr vamshi and once it acts it is it has same energy as the water on like no extra energy clear the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy now let's apply this for flying Okay. I'll erase this also here. If you study meteorology in the first class of mine, I'll be teaching you the. i s a atmospheric pressure at mean sea level is equals to 1013 hectopascals yes yes now what is 1013 hectopascals it is pressure correct it is pressure now what is pressure define pressure force upon area correct so if you apply a force on a certain area how much force is acting that is force upon area pressure is force upon area correct when it comes to gas its potential energy is almost equal to or proportional to its pressure energy correct so this is a bit complex theory which generally if you are doing mechanical engineering or somewhere you will be taught but take this for granted okay i'll explain why and how it okay just bear with me now tell me your guys who attended navigation classes with me don't don't ask Okay, now who are new to this class? Answer. What is meant by one zero one three hectopascals? Rishab, Zara, Zara, you completed metrology. You completed metrology, correct? No. No. Okay, fine. Uh, Rishab. Yes, sir. What is one zero one three? So, sir, it's atmospheric pressure at mean sea level. It means. Uh, one zero one three point two hectopascals. When we use altimeter, so that time we used to measure our distance, our QNH. Uh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I just want to explain you what is the actual scenario in which you are flying the aircraft. Okay. So practical sense of one zero one three hectopascals. 
if you cover if you convert 1013 hectopascals into psi you can google it it will transform into 14.7 psi okay now the new guys here where do you use psi in your gas station when you fill the air correct in your car so what is the normal psi which you keep in your car Sir, you don't drive cars. Sir, I drive cars. I have a driver. They only do this thing. Sir, it's thirty-five. Lamogne, na? Yes. Correct. Ah, huh. you only. Okay. Thirty-five psi. What is this thirty-five psi? See, if you are putting air under pressure. Inside a car, now if you take this as a car tire, okay. Now this is inside the car tire. If you take one square inch, this this side is one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one square inch area inside the car tire. Correct. Now the pressure exerted, the pressure exerted by the air which you fill inside. the car that is equals to 35 pounds 35 pounds per square inch psi is pounds per square inch am i clear am i clear on this now if you convert 14.7 to kg okay so this is the normal atmospheric pressure 14.7 psi it will approximately come out to 7 kg See one kg is two point two pounds approximately. So this will come out to be six point nine something. I'll round off to seven kg. Seven kg per square inch. Am I clear? That means if this is Earth, if this is Doctor Ramshi, just sitting at the mean sea level, correct? Now because of the air molecules around me the pressure acting on my body for example if you take one square inch of my body the pressure acting here is 7 kg you get it okay now my body is made up of 3000 square inches approximately now what is the pressure acting on my body due to atmosphere 3000 square inches into Seven. How much? Twenty-one thousand kg. Twenty-one thousand. Approximately. Okay. Nobody is going to ask you. This is the story I have created. Okay. Uh, you you cannot find this thing in on anywhere. Okay. Now, how many of you think my body is tolerating twenty-one thousand kg as I am sitting now and taking the class? Yes or no? Mm, sir, if it is at mean sea level, then it's okay. Yeah, mean sea. Otherwise, I'm sitting at mean sea level. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many of you think it is not tolerating twenty-one thousand kg? Anyone? No. Actually, it is tolerating. So that is why, for example, if Doctor Vamshi goes into outer space, what happens? He will explode if he doesn't wear a space suit. You understand? The contents in my body will come out with such a force, as if someone is pushing it out with twenty-one thousand kg of force. clear shall i move on shall i move on and one more example to this one more example to this see take a 747 a320 correct approximate weight 1 lakh Thirty-six thousand kgs and plus, more than that. Okay. Now, after some time, I'll be explaining Bernoulli's theorem, where this wing, this aircraft, by accelerating forwards, just around three thousand feet of runway, it will take off in air. Correct. 
correct now the static pressure see i have told you that let's assume this is earth and i am standing here correct the air molecules around me are in random motion they are moving randomly correct and they are hitting my body with so great force correct and why are they exerting so much force see above me for about 600 kilometers there is air correct and every air molecule is attracted downwards because of gravity so this air molecule will exert pressure on this air molecule on an average i am speaking so all this air molecules will exert pressure on the air molecules below it below it below it and this force is acting on me because i am the, at the lowest level possible that is at the mean sea level you understand now what happens as you go up will the pressure atmospheric pressure increase or decrease 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 correct decreases yeah so it is 1013 here it will become 1012 1011 so on and so forth correct now you have to remember atmospheric pressure will decrease by 1 hectopascal for every 27 feet if you go up by 27 feet atmospheric pressure will decrease by how much 1 hectopascal next see if this is the wing of the aircraft correct this is the wing of the aircraft as the aircraft moves forward like this okay the air will flow above it and below it above it and below it okay now this creates a pressure difference how it is created i'll teach you in some time correct that will ultimately lead to an upward force called as lift okay now this lift generated if you take if this is the aircraft on one square inch of the wing the lift will be approximately 6 to 5 to 7 kg now how many square inches are there on the boeing 747 wing lot of square inches correct so the total force is so much that will be generated that will lift 136000 kg into air you understand so i have not explained how the lift is generated but this is how it is distributed am i clear how many of you understood every word till now in the class clear so the total weight of the aircraft is lifted up in air correct do you think 136000 is less weight hmm? no sir no okay so like really if you go to a gym try to lift 100 kg you will understand okay the table in which you know like in front of you would be weighing around like 20 kg correct try to lift 20 kg after the class not now after the class okay you will know how much is 136000 kg so as a pilot you will be playing with these kind of forces this huge amount of forces you understand am i clear okay er okay fine <clears throat> i'll assume i'll have completed till um, energy correct L let's quickly go through kinetic energy kinetic energy is a type of energy so unit will be joule it is due to the motion, motion of a body correct the formula is half mv square we all know from the lower classes correct now i'll compare kinetic energy to the dynamic pressure of air in the next class okay that is on hold okay now let me complete at least uh, the next slide and i will leave you next two slides here newton's laws of motion can someone say all the three laws of motions you have seen just now on the screen uh, there was a uh, video okay um, the interviewer will ask a student who just gave the exams do you know newton's uh, three laws of motion 
okay he says yes okay then he will ask what is the full name of neutron okay that guy will answer newton proton electron okay that, that's really funny you have to see how 10th class student fine see newton's first law anyone yes sir the okay. body is at rest or in motion until any force is exerted on it okay for example <clears throat> how many of you do netflix marathons honestly i do okay for example if i get lazy once okay if i start watching in netflix okay it will go for 5 days 6 days no classes no nothing even i'll take class in the morning okay netflix a body will stay in this state of rest in front of tv until my wife comes in okay go okay so external force is acting until then i will be in the state of rest correct or for example if you take outer space and you throw a ball it will keep on moving because no gravity no nothing to stop correct until it collides with some other meteor or something like that and it stops correct so a body will stay in state of motion or rest for example if you uh take someone who is going to gym daily you cannot stop him easily you have to exert a lot of force don't go don't go because he will be addicted to it so clear that is newton's first law an object will remain at rest like me watching netflix unless acted upon by an unbalanced external force that is my wife too dangerous or if the ob- object is in motion okay so it also needs some force to be acted so that it will stop or change its path newton's first law second law yaar see so <clears throat> let's assume my wife came i'm watching netflix since 5 days if she says uh yaar bamshi do and go and do the homework na or go and do some work na like uh, prepare the slides or something like that you have to take the classes next week also you go and do some work if you ask politely what will i do okay i'll get up i'm going okay she also leaves again sit back do the same thing if she comes and says or will you go or not what will i do i'll go i'll come to this room okay i'll do acting for some time and i'll come back okay if she comes for tack go and do the work what will i do do you think i will slap back no 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 don't do that always girls are correct okay come do your work you understand so depending on the force correct the action varies less force more force too much force okay yeah my wife never have uh, beaten me or something like that because the class is getting recorded now that's why i'm saying that okay. anybody married here nikhil you never got beatings from your wife <laughs> see he ne- he did not say no <laughs> understand okay it's an open secret okay so that is newton second layer newton also got slapped by his wife multiple times that's why that's how he realized that law acceleration is proportional to the force applied correct now let's let, let me give you an example let's say you are on a cricket ground you have two balls one is a tennis ball one is a heavy cork ball now you throw these two balls with as much force as you can okay which ball will go more distance tennis ball the lighter one correct 
or there are two guys both are throwing cork balls only correct now this is vamshi he doesn't go to gym or play cricket this is again uh, nikhil he is going to gym and doing everything so who can throw the cork ball towards more distance nikhil be careful he has more power be careful zara you will get double the homework you do you think he can throw farther than me do you really think if he is ha huh? you will throw sir <laughs> okay amma so kill. whoever whoever has more power will throw it far okay <laughs> who has more power who can give the homework the vamsi sir have most more power <laughs> i will throw the cork ball what is this here anyways okay to that question the answer is nikhil okay <clears throat> because see he is exerting more force the ball correct so one second here where is this See, when the nickel throwed, he is exerting more force. I am exerting less force. So I am accelerating the ball to a maximum velocity, which is less than the nickel's maximum velocity. Correct. So acceleration attained by a body or this ball while going is proportional to the force. How many of you understand? Correct. Second thing, if you take cork ball and tennis ball, only one guy is throwing. Correct. tennis ball is going very far than the cork ball correct so can i say acceleration is inversely proportional to mass yes sir less mass more acceleration yes, it will attain yes or no correct from the newton second law if we combine these two acceleration force and mass can i say acceleration sorry is equals to force by mass because acceleration attained by a body is proportional to the force and is inversely proportional to the mass correct can i say force is equals to mass into acceleration f is equals to ma from your lower classes yes sir yes. correct what is acceleration velocity rate of change of velocity rate of change of change velocity velocity with time yes. if i say final velocity is v v is equals to final velocity correct u is equals to initial velocity correct can i say acceleration is change in velocity final minus initial with respect to time yes sir correct can i write this equation as f is equals to force is equals to mass into u my sorry v minus u by t correct correct now keep this equation in your mind okay now panisha catch catch i'm throwing a ball at you okay first ball is light tennis light tennis which ball tennis ball light tennis ball light light tennis light. ball okay catch okay next ball is cork ball very hard very heavy catch okay so what is the difference what is the difference see when i threw a light ball sanisha did this when i threw a heavy ball sanisha did this Correct. Was Correct. So that means, see, Sanisha struggled to stop or catch the cock ball, or which is a heavy ball. Correct. Why? Because there is something called momentum. See, momentum is see. I throw ball with the same force. Correct. 
but mass of the ball was different ball was having same velocity not force same velocity but mass of the ball was different one was lightweight other was heavy ball correct so that is called momentum so momentum is nothing but your mass of a ball into velocity you understand so like i have a friend who is into cricket correct so he keeps on discussing the momentum is this so you have to play like this so like uh, there are different kinds of momentum when you play in swing balls out swing balls he keeps on explaining me. so then he also explained me what is momentum see momentum is depending on the ball weight and depending on the speed it is coming you have to maintain a certain force on the bat to be able to play it properly you understand so momentum is how much force the ball acts for its mass or it is the mass into velocity correct if it is a light weight ball momentum will be less but you can increase its momentum by increasing its velocity you understand can i say here this equation as mv minus mu by t i multiplied by mass inside correct so mv is final momentum yes sir mass into velocity of the ball mu is initial momentum with respect to time can i say this is final momentum minus initial momentum with time correct so can i define newton second law as rate of change of momentum with respect to force applied or force is equal to rate of change of momentum correct different books different definitions and the concept is same am i clear on this yes sir here how many of you practically understood what is work what is power what is momentum what is energy fine how many of you feel here sir this class though already we knew it was very much boring to us or this class sir we have understood something too much a bit of practical practicality was there in the class how many of you feel this correct which was not there in the lower classes correct see i can complete this class in half hour also why am i taking this stress to explain it for one and half hour because i want you to understand how an aircraft flies okay if you are doing technical general i repeat again here it will be only practical your dgca exam you will pass in first attempt that is my guarantee no doubt about it but our ultimate goal will be to understand how the aircraft flies in detail clear fine here here actually i have to complete uh, the atmosphere also i have to give introduction and i have to complete some things which i could not i am not feeling very well correct so we'll continue in the next class next class will be super class okay i'll teach you how the lift happens bernoulli's theorem you would have never seen bernoulli's theorem in the sense which i'm going to show you correct i'll see you in next class take care sir, bye bye i have a doubt yes is there yeah i understood everything but uh, the question that you asked like stuck in my mind that uh, what is mean by 1013 hectopascal in the mean zero so how will i answer that Okay, <laughs> fine, 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 fine. So here, this is the complete explanation to that question. Okay, what? Where is it? Anyways, see, I just wanted you to understand the power of one zero one three decimal two five hectopascals. Okay, I was trying. It is equals to on the wing of an aircraft or on my body sitting at mean sea level. One square inch will be seeing a force of seven kgs. You know, in the practical sense, correct. So everybody will know one zero one three decimal two five hectopascals, correct. You are living in the same environment since your childhood, correct. But how many of you know oh, this force is this much? This force is able to lift the aircraft into air, correct. That is what I wanted to explain, correct. For example, see, you would have studied somewhere else navigation, this thing, that thing. Okay. So I was expecting someone would have explained this in the same sense or something like that, correct. probably in your school some teacher 
who is very good would have asked. I was thinking someone would really dig and answer that. But till date, nobody answers. Okay. Fine. Thank you, sir. See you. Thank you, sir. Get Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming to class. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Sir, do so we have class tomorrow? Here. One second.